What's up, school fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and today this is a very exclusive interview with the talk of Indonesian basketball right now, Mr. Lester Prosper. Les, how you doing, man? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good, man. Thank you, though, for taking your time. Welcome back to Indonesia. It's been a while. But first of all, though, I would like just to ask you, like, how you doing, man? All, everything good with you? Yeah, everything's great. Everything's great. Um, living, working out still every day, swimming. Um, just enjoying myself now. Okay, glad to, glad to hear that. And Lesser, clearing you know? My, clearing my mind. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all need that. And Lesser, you know, um, we saw the game against Jordan. A lot of people talking about it because, you know, you only got two points and one rebounds. Can you just, you know, take us through that game? Like what happened? What happened? Like you only scored two points and one rebound. You know, ba- basically, um, you know, um, I wasn't getting any touches. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm, I'm the naturalized player, you know. So obviously, if you are a naturalized player, you know, your job is to come in there and, True. and um, you, you are basically the first option. So, you know, um, your job as a local is to get um, the naturalized player going first. Obviously, I'm not a point guard. I'm a post player. So I depend on the, the guards for feeding me the ball in the post. If you look at the game, mm. there was none of that, you know. And it, it, you just got to take a look at the game. You know what I mean? Just look, look at that. On top of that, um, as a, you know, if I was a coach, you know, and I have a naturalized player like Lester Prosper, I would basically say, you know, hey, guys, let's get the ball inside. You know, why do I have to run through, you know, um, so many screens, mm-hmm. you know, to be able to, you know, first I'm doing a cross and then I'm setting a screen and I'm rolling, I'm coming back up and I'm rolling. You know, this is this stuff is tiring, you know, on top of that. You know, um, I'm human, you know, so of course, you know, sometimes when you're not receive, getting the ball where you want it and, you know, you're the biggest man on the floor, you can battle against these guys, you know, and then you're running up and down the court about six, seven times and you're not receiving the mm-hmm. ball and then your, your teammates, you know, your um, the, the other team's coming down and they're mm-hmm. scoring in transition. Um, that gets frustrating, so, you know. This is basically what happened, you know, during that time. Yeah, a lot of people were talking about your, you know, bad body language, you know, your bad gesture. But actually, it's natural, right? It's natural for people. It is. It is natural. You you Mm -hmm. know, at the end of the day, why did you naturalize me? You Mm -hmm. naturalized me because of what I've accomplished. You you naturalized me because you believe in my um, my skill set. You know, you naturalized me because of what I've done in other leagues. You know, so therefore, you know. use me to mm-hmm. to that advantage to help you win win games and i'm a person that i can help you win games you know it's proven in higher leagues so yes. don't just use me to set picks and you know what i'm saying and then I, on top of that our team is is an average height of yes. five nine six feet you know so you're running a zone defense and you have me running out on the three-point line which takes away from rebounding position from me. So if I was a coach, you know, I would make sure to put Lester in a position that he can grab Mm -hmm. rebounds and not be um, out there on the perimeter chasing um, shots in the zone, you know? Yes. Plus the zone doesn't work. If you you look at, you you look at the um, the tactic, Mm -hmm. you know, the tactics, you know, that we did in the zone, it didn't work. Every team shot goddamn near 40 percent you know saudi arabia they're not shooters yeah they're not but, but they're they, making a lot of crazy layups but they, made, <laughs> they made a lot of threes yeah you know they made layups and they made threes mm-hmm. you know why did they make layups lester's out on the wing mm-hmm. why did they make threes a post guy kind of seal you in and then yeah. you can't run out there so it's corner corner threes mm-hmm. if if i run out there ch- and um close out on that um shot then the wing guy is open okay so that's another three, you know. Come on, this yeah. is you know. This is Tim am, am I am I am I crazy? Am I the the one to blame here? Well, you got, you have to have a scapegoat. You do. And and I guess I I am that guy. But we gotta remind people though, you know. Uh, and I'm worrying about this too because I think the first three games you play with the national team, I think mm. you average like 22 points. Absolutely. And 11 rebounds. Yeah, I'm I still think, I'm still. Mm. If you look at the FIBA numbers, I'm yeah. still. 
um, top four categories. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think Still. that was against Thailand, Thailand Korea, Korea, and, and Philippines. Philippines. Yeah. So those are three great games when you play first with yeah. the national team. Yeah, and we lost by like 23. Yeah. You know, when Indonesia's used to getting blown out by 50 points. Plus. Yes. And, you know? But did you feel any different though from those three games, like to the, to the last two games, you know? Um, I just felt we were more um, in sync. Okay. You know what I mean? In we the were, first three games? In the first three games, okay. we were more in sync. Um, we just was missing Brandon, that's about it. Okay. You know? Um, but, you know, um, these last two games, you know, we didn't have much time to practice also. Yes. You know, so that that definitely takes a, um, a big factor in, in, in our performance, you know. Like I said, um, I did have bad body language, of course. You know, it's normal if you're going to mm -hmm. have, if you're going to run up and down the court. Any player, you know, mm -hmm. any player does this, like from LeBron to anybody else. I, you know what I mean? It is what it is. You know, um, are you going to give me the ball so I can help you win? Or are you going to look me off? You're going to look me right in the eye and then take a shot, a three-point shot that clanks. And clanks. We obviously right now we're not good three-point shooters. Mm -hmm. You know the numbers don't lie. Men yes, lie, women yes. lie, and numbers don't. You know, we're not good three-point shooters. So, you know, I mean, like to uh, let, let me help me so I can mm -hmm. be able to help you. But to be fair, like actually in the first game you were the top scorer, though. You know, You're the oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, You're you know. the leading top scorer, and then the second game, then that happened. But you know, just to see. People like you know posting like hashtag twenty five out. Mm -hmm. What was your re re reaction though? You know what, what can I say? They they're fans. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. And um, like the guy who did that, who started that, you know, he has his little cult following. Mm -hmm. You know, and obviously he doesn't know much about basketball, so his cult following, you know, follows him. So they do not know much about basketball, so their IQs mm -hmm. are very similar. You know, so I'm really not, um, I, I really don't get too bothered mm -hmm. about that. But, you know, I'm just, the reason why I'm doing this also, because I'm going to address myself and also, you know, some of the fans, some of the, um, you know, the people who are speculating what's going on, you know, they need to, they need to know the truth. They need to mm -hmm. know about um, my point of view instead of, you know, listening to, um, one guy's point of view, you know, know my point of view, know what's going on really in detail, you know, and take a look at the game again and, and look at all the positions that, you know, I was open but didn't receive it, you know, or basically if you're a good teammate, give him the ball, get him, you know, get him going. That's what good teammates do. They get, player, they get their players going. They get their main players going. That's what they did to me in the Philippines. That's what they did to me in England. You know, that's what they did to me in Hong Kong. You know, they got me going. You but, know, but it's too bad though. Like we don't have anybody that you know break down the game. Like seeing all the plays. Like you know, they just see like the stats at the end of the day, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, so that, that's why it's hard to make people understand like what's going on in the game. Is you know, it's more than just like scoring and rebounding. You know, you gotta set screens. You gotta play defense yeah, and everything. And, and, right? and that's that's. When you're dealing with a team like Jordan in yes. Saudi Arabia, that's six ten, seven foot one, you know, and they're six, good, seven, six, and they're eight, good, they're, they're, good. Not, they're not bad. And, and then yeah. you know, I have guards that are on my team about five five, yeah. five seven, five eight. You know, um, I, I don't care. You know, you're not gonna win like that. Mm. You're not gonna win like that. But what we can do, you know, mm. is play from the inside out instead of playing from outside in. Okay. You know, if we play from um, inside out. Every team is doubling me. It's, mm. pro it's proven. You look at the tape. They're all doubling me. If they're not doubling, they're waiting until I put that ball on the floor and then they're sending a guy right away. That is respect. You know? I'm a threat. Yes. So a lot of guys are open because I'm on the court. For instance, look at the game versus Lebanon. Okay. You know? Why did they get a 70-point blowout? Because I wasn't on the floor. Who, who are they doubling? Nobody. You understand? I understand that. So whether we get blown out by 20 points or 22 points or whatever, or 30 points, you know, it's not 70 points. Yeah. You know, this is embarrassing. True. So who, who's the scapegoat now? Like, who are you going to blame for that kind of loss? A 70-point blowout. Is it Lester? Because you can't blame me. 
because you're not I, there. I was I was quarantined yeah. in the room, you know. So and people were looking for you. <laughs> and people were looking for me. So, yeah. you know. And then on top of that, we had we had time. We had time to to um to build chemistry, and we did. Yes. In Vegas. At, at Impact. Yeah. Yes, at Impact, and we did. We were ready, you know. The way we played together in, in, yeah. against those um, those opponents that we had, like Demarcus Cousins and yes. a couple of those guys, we were ready. You know, that was good preparation. You know, so you know what happened? What happened? If you're such, if I was a coach, I would ask myself, what happened? If I'm such a good coach, why didn't I, you know, why didn't I put put my um, my best foot down? Yes. You know, and and be able to. Implement the tactics to help my team at least be competitive. But you guys only have five days, though. You know what can you accomplish in like five days? What do you mean five pra days for what? Pra practicing together, right? Getting ready. I think before you go to. No, we had we had about two oh, weeks. I thought you got like five days. No, we had yeah. two weeks. After the IBL. Yeah, we had about two weeks. Okay. Uh, you know, we had we had enough to practice. Okay. Don't let that be fooled. Okay. We had enough to to practice. What we need to do, mm -hmm. you know, instead of coming in, if I was a coach, mm -hmm. instead of coming in and doing, you know, cone drills, you know, these men are grown men. These are grown men. These guys have wives and kids, you know, you, you know, except for Rigi and yeah. Bagheer and Yuda. You know what I'm saying? Why are we doing cone drills? You know, if I was a coach, I'll do five on five. Okay. You know, I would come in, guys warm up, stretch. Band work, shoot, run off our offense, five on five. Okay. Are you tired, Lester? All right, get out for two minutes and get your ass back in there. Excuse my language. It's okay. You know, that's 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 preparation. Okay. Five on five, not five on five on five, not four on four on four, not three on three on three. That is not preparation. It's not realistic. Okay. Five on five is real preparation. That's like in Vegas. Exactly. Five on five is real preparation. 12 minutes, 12 minute quarters, you know, I got and it. you push yourself. That's real preparation. So now, good. now that puts your naturalized player in a position to be in super shape, mm. in a position to be able to help, you know, and on top of that, you know, if it doesn't work out, all you can say as a coach is, you know what? I naturalized this guy. I put him in a position to win and he didn't pan out. And now we move on, and I will be fine with that. Okay. But did I did I receive that opportunity? Absolutely not. Wow. You know, does a does a, if I was a coach, I would listen to my players. You know, what can we do to help you guys be better? That doesn't go on here. You know what I'm saying? I, I know what you're saying. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That. So, yeah. What's the vibes though? What's the vibes inside? You know, the national team. Like, you know. What do you mean with uh, the vibes? It's a lot of, I don't want to say it, but it's, like, it's not a lot of communication, though. Oh, um, you know? No, no, it's not a lot of communication because the reason that there's not um, a lot of communication is because players are also frustrated, but mm. they're in a position that they really cannot say anything. Okay. You know, I'm different. I'm very outspoken. I'm going to say what's on my mind. I'm going to say what's, what I feel, you know. I'm not, I'm not bonded to anyone. I'm not tied to anyone. You understand? Mm. I understand that. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I hope, like, you know, there's better communication be between you guys because, you know, it's a national team. You guys represent the country. You know, you don't represent a club or anything. You guys, you guys are, like, really representing the flag of Indonesia, you know. Absolutely. So I really hope you guys are going to find a solution about that. You but gotta unity. You got to have, like it says in the Panchasila, Persatuan. Yeah. You know, you got to have that. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't think we have unity. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Everybody have different cliques. You know, um, somebody says something about me online. And instead of um, backing up your teammate, they laugh about it. You know, it's what, what is that? You know, what I mean, why, why are you going to, you know, you got to come to your teammates um, rescue, you know, have your teammates back. That's part of the reason, too. That that is a loser's mentality. You know, that that's part of the reason why we're in the predicament that we're in also, okay. because it's no cohesiveness. You know, it's no unity. Wow. Yeah, I, man, I feel like, you know, like your teammates need to have to your back and, you know, protect your, uh, you too, I, I feel, because it's getting out of hands. What I feel like, I, I can't imagine 
looking at your DMs, like what kind of messages, nasty messages that you get. But you know how you, how do you handle those messages though mentally though mentally as a basketball player? You know what I don't care. You know they, I I see the nasty messages. I don't care. I delete them. Mm-hmm. You know you send me a nasty message, I'm gonna block you. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's it. But I, I you know I get a lot of love. You know I get a lot of love. I focus on the the the, the um, positive messages that I get, and you know and that's cool. You know at the end of the day, you know um, as I said, this guy has a cult following who who stated this stuff about me. He has a cult following, and you know, the people who follow him, you could tell um, by their IQ. You know, I'm, I'm not the type to go back and forth, especially mm-hmm. like his followers are like people that, you know, what I mean, that are texting you from a Huawei phone in the back of a truck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. gonna go back yeah. and forth with somebody who who's texting from a Huawei phone. I'm not gonna go back and forth with that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's about it, man. Have you ever experienced like? This much, I would say hate. But people sometimes like feel like, oh, this is the critics. But it's not a critics when you like, you know, you don't give a solution, you don't give give an answer about you know how to make things better. I think it's a hate when you just like, you know, just say, oh yeah, he no, sucks. You I, know, I never, never experienced this much hate. This is this is new to me. But at the same time, I know myself. I know who I am. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it um, of course, I'm a human being. So it bothers me just a little bit. I would be lying if I said that it, it did not bother me. But um, I'm a human being. But I, at the end of the day, also, I know myself. I know who I am. I know what I've accomplished in life. I know where I live. You know, I know, you know, I know my surroundings. I, you know, what I mean, I know I have good people in my life. And, you know, this is just this is just one part of, of it, you know, and I know the love that I get, you know, so love overpower hate, you know, so, you know, it is what it is. And if you, if you're not getting hated on, you know, that means, you know, you're not doing something, you're not doing something right, you know, right. so in, in life, you know, it's a yin and a yang, you're going to get love, you're going to get hate. So you got to have a little balance. So, you know, um, obviously, you know, if you get love, you're going to have hate also. Yeah. So you got to, you got to take it how it comes in. That's how I handle it. I know, but I keep reminding people, you know, just just one bad game, you know, just one bad game, and people just go crazy about it. You know, I think, you know, but you know, I think that's a sign of respect, also, because they expect a lot from me. You yeah. know, what I'm saying that's that's how much they, you know, when just one bad game, no, Lester, you cannot have one bad game. <laughs> You know, I guess they look at me like a Superman or something. So, do you feel the burden though? Like people are expecting you to drop like 30 and 20 every it, game? It's a national team, so this is not a club team. So I'm not gonna be able to drop 30 and 20 every game. You know what I'm saying? This is not the Philippines. In the Philippines, yeah. I was put in a position to do that. You know, um, I was given confidence by my teammates, given confidence by my coaches, given confidence by my team owner. You know, to go out there and and put up those kind of numbers. You know, so. What's the difference though? How did they put you in a position to be success though in the Philippines? Because I know you dropped like 45. And it's not easy to drop 45 points in the PBA, well, you know? Well, what I had, I had a personal gym. Okay. I had three or four rebounders for me. I, I, I'm in the court at 2 a.m. in the morning. Wow. You know, 3 a.m. in the morning, um, you know, um, I'm swimming. I'm swimming every day. Um, you know, like they put me in a, in a complex and they gave me a a super super apartment that everything was like hands on you know I had trainers had trainer massages um, you know personal this personal that you know um, everything was hands on and then they, they treated you with respect they treated you with love and when you the thing about it when you get treated with love and respect you know you want to work hard for this organization you know what I'm saying so it's just like the situation in Taiwan that I have coming up, you know, mm-hmm. they're doing everything that they can to just get me over there right away, and and um, they they're taking leaps and bounds. And when when you get that kind of love, it, you know, it's like a mother loving you. Yeah. You know, you want to make your mother proud. So what you do, you you take that extra that extra mile. But if your mother is neglecting you and treating you this kind of way and l- listening to this and listening to that and paying attention to the neighbor's kid, yeah. you know, then you you turn into you, you lose confidence in yourself, you know? Because I, I trust, like, you have great basketball skills, you know? We saw, we saw you uh, dropping, averaging 22 and 11 yeah. in the first three games, and I saw you playing against Andre Drummond, mm-hmm. the Marcus Cousins, even with John Wall. 
you know, and there's a reason. There must be a reason, you know, why coach uh, uh, the national team. I'm sorry, why the national team naturalizing you for Indonesia too? That's why. Like I was like, there must be something, you know, must be something like not working for you not being able to reach your top performance for the national team. So I just hope that in I the- think I'm not put I'm not putting the the right position. You know, like the plays are not bad. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But on top of that, also we're a little bit too small. Mm-hmm. You know, so therefore, it, the things that he's running, the offense and the defense that he's running, is mostly um, is mostly fitting to a, a, a more of a Euro- European personnel. Okay. You know, not not Asian basketball. So you know? Europeans are more more taller. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So so this is where we we hit the wall. Okay. You know, so like I said, you're gonna run a one two two, and you have your your big man running outside to challenge. There's nobody inside to rebound. And you're doing that for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then we go, man, you know, um, it's, it gets a little better. When we go, man, it, you know, you see a little bit of progress when we go, man. But at the same time, you have bigger, stronger players mm-hmm. like a Tucker, you know, or those guys from Saudi. They're bigger and stronger and faster. And then on top of that, um, our, our, um, our regimen, our workout regimen, our workout plan that we have is not as intense okay. as... Um, as we had before, you know, okay. yeah, like um, when um, Coach Laron was in, mm-hmm. it's not as you know we don't we didn't have any of that this no. um, right now this windows you know so you know I just feel I just feel that um, you know we're taking steps back okay. you know and we need to take steps forward you know and like I said whether I'm here or not you know I I still want the country to do well you know what I'm saying it it will. I'll be so proud if they do well because it's at the end of the day I have friends here I have people that treat me like family here and not because I'm not playing for the, yeah. the national team anymore you know that I'm going to be like oh no I don't want to be a part of Indonesia's yeah. um, culture anymore no it's not that way I'm you know I have no hate towards the teammates no hate towards the fans no hate towards anybody even the person who's talking about me no hate towards that because you can't you can't feed hate with hate you know what I mean that's true. That's why I told everybody, like, you know, people, like, taking jab at me, too, because I'm friend with you. Mm-hmm. Like, I told everybody, like, you know, it doesn't matter what you do on the basketball court. That doesn't going to... It comes rule. with the territory, man. It yeah. comes with the territory. You know, it, you're Rocky Padilla. That, <laughs> that's your name, you know? You're going to get hate. You know? know. You're going to get hate, whether whether it's because you backed me up or whether because you made a better video than somebody Because <laughs> yeah. I feel like, you know, basketball is just a game. Basketball is just a game, you know? Life is much better, much bigger than that. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they got a war going on over there, you yeah, know. Yeah. And how come, you know, just the world is going crazy and you, have, you still have time to hate on one person, you know. It just, it just blows my mind sometimes, you know. Yeah, but it, it is what it is. You got to understand that the world, the world is like this. I guess the world is like this. Yeah, it's like this. But I just really hope you don't, you know, you don't regret coming here because I know it's just, I know it, it no, got to your head. Never, I could never yeah. regret coming here. There, I met some amazing people mm-hmm. here. You know, like I say, look, look where I'm at. This mm-hmm. is like my family's place. You know, they're family to me. You know what I mean? Um, amazing, amazing, amazing people. Um, you know, good friends, people like you. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I, made, I made very, very good connections here. And, um, you know, you know, one person talking crap or or his cult following talking crap, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really affect what I'm doing. It doesn't really affect my feelings towards my friends slash family that I have here. And the country as well. And the country. Yes. yes. So yeah. last, man, I, from, we, we got, you know, a lot of people still love you, right? In Indonesia. Of course, <laughs> of, course of course, of course. And I love them too. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. all my followers, they send their regards to you they say you know uncle prosper you know stay strong Absolutely. give your no, they, I, I saw that they, yeah. it's it's like a it's like about 2000 dms yeah i know right you know what i mean so that's a lot man that yeah you, I, I, lot. you know when, yeah. when when you're going through the you know it's funny when yeah. you're going through the um the hate messages yeah you know and it's like 2000 dms and you're like <laughs> that's a lot of dms bro you're like seeing love you're like seeing hate yeah. you know but you know what I mean? You mostly see the love and stuff yeah. because they always send the heart plus the basketball yeah. and the flag. And, you know, so some people understand and some people don't. Some yeah. people are upset because they felt that I probably, because my body language showed yeah. that I probably was very frustrated with what was going on. And, 
you know, so, you know, maybe they don't really hate me, but maybe they're just showing some sort of frustration. Yeah, probably. And I give them the benefit of the doubt, you know, but yeah. other than that, man, you know what I'm saying, if, if you have something to say to me personally, just say, hey, Les, you know, like, um, I don't hate you, but, you know, you showed frustration out there. You can't do that. Pick your brother up. That's what you do. You pick your brother up. Yeah. And, uh, you know what I mean? Don't just say... F you uh, <laughs> I hope you die like, yeah. uh, this is, these That's are crazy my, though man, That's crazy I, though They say I hope you die That's like Out of line man Man I was getting these crazy messages Like I hope you die Or mother effer And um, You know I guess I guess um, I guess Indonesia's national team Is built on one man I guess. You know what I mean And then they're like 25 out And bold and in And <laughs> You know So I I said You know I hope that when Marcus Marquise comes here you know, if he comes, you know, um, I hope that um, that he he actually could know how to deal with this yeah. stuff. You know, because he's, I only hope he's, too. He's younger, you know, so I really hope he doesn't have any bad game. Yeah. <laughs> if know, not, that that thing gonna go off. Yeah, you know, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. It comes with the territory. It does. It yeah. it does come with the job too. Yeah. But but to clarify, everybody asking me like, how does Lester feel about Marcus coming in? No, that's yeah. Marquis like my brother, man. Yeah. I, I don't have yeah. that. That has nothing to do with me. This is business. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a business decision from the higher ups. That has nothing to do with me. And and you naturalize somebody. Why wouldn't you bring him in? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel any kind of ill in, uh, ill way towards Marquis coming in. You know what I'm saying? Like come in, young brother, do your thing. I uplift my young brothers. Yes. You come in, do your thing. If you're successful with the team, more kudos to you. If you're not, you're still successful in my eyes because of what we have, what we have accomplished, um, you know, while we were young to now, you know? That's the culture that I'm trying to spread in Indonesia, you know? Just show your support. Like, in America, like, I support other photographers, other, other videographers. I just support them because... You know, that, 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 that's how it's supposed to be, I feel like. You know, you don't hate on somebody's work or something like that because the, if, you, if you work together, I think you're going go, to gonna grow stronger, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. When you work together, mm. everything is yeah. easier, you know? Everything is easier. So that's all it is, man. All it is. Mm. Less. It's been a great talk, man. Oh, yeah, brother. Great oh, talk. Yeah. Um, good luck in Taiwan. Thank you. Thank you. I really hope you're coming back to Indonesia. No, I should be back. I yeah. should be back. I should be back. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to watch you again, uh, you know, donning that Indonesian jersey, Indonesian national team jersey. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. yeah hopefully. Really appreciate all your efforts, all your sacrifices. Um, I still, we all, a lot of people still believe in you. You know, you can help, even help the national team, help the kids, inspire the kids out here, you know. Absolutely. I'll, I'll probably come back. Um, do some camps. Yes. You know, a lot of kids look up to you too. Do some camps in Bali, do some camps in Surabaya, you know, probably do some camps in Java. And probably yeah. fl play in. <laughs> and, and probably in Papua. I'll come to Papua. Yeah. Oh, do some, do some camps over there. They'll probably love me in Papua. They'll probably love this. Oh my God. They're going to go crazy. Yeah, They're going to go crazy for you in Papua. That'd be dope. I'll, I actually need to make a stop over there, actually. I need to really do that. Yeah. You know, give back to my people. You know, yeah. you know Papua, our, our well, people yeah, because our they're people. Indonesian. Yeah, stop all the hate, man, with the Papua stuff too. I know. You know we just, I mean? I mean, I just stop all the hate with yeah. everything. You yeah. know, Indonesians, Indonesians are Indonesians. Period. Yeah. You know, show your brother love. I show know. your brother love. And I really appreciate you, like you embracing our culture too. Course, you know, and you can't speak Bahasa. City kid, city kid. City kid, city kid. See, yeah. You know, and. I, and I appreciate that because you want to learn about the culture. You want to know about the culture. And I embrace. Uh, I embrace it. I, you know the thing about me, yeah. man. I embrace every culture. Yeah. You know, I, I embrace the Hong Kong yeah. culture, the Mandarin, the Cantonese. Yeah. You know, I embrace Indonesian. I embrace Philippines. You know, yeah. everywhere that I've visited in the world. You know, I'm an international man. You know. Any time, yeah. You know, so I'll set so it. Much. I'll, I'll make sure I set it up for you. Appreciate you. Thank you so much to Orient Hotel for letting us do the interview here. Uh, very nice, very cozy, very elegant. Very, you know, very look at elegant. this background. Very, very elegant. Yeah, very <laughs> elegant. So, last once again, 
Hope to see you come back to Indonesia very soon. Absolutely. I really appreciate this talk. And everybody, don't forget, man, to keep supporting Mr. Prosper. Hopefully, going to do his thing in Taiwan. Yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to keep supporting there. Yeah. And, of course, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I uh, really appreciate the time. Hopefully, you guys get more clarity, you know, from Mr. Prosper. Because he's... This is him, exclusive, you know? Yes. You hear it first. <laughs> yes. And yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and we'll see you guys again very soon. Peace out. Terima kasih banyak.